Simple. Simple's not starting fantastically. He's got water flash and some hot lead out of those clocks. And I don't think the smoke's going to stop him, Chad. Ooh, 1x bet odds here favoring Na'Vi, but probably not for the pistol round. Going to have this bomb site taken away from them. They're out of util for the retake onto the site, and Rain's just having fun. Ugh. The burst fire glocked through the smoke. Perfect is going to wonder what he did. Yeah, I was actually really proud of Harry when he told me he went. He spent two, three weeks practicing burst fire fam ass. Respect. Like, plus one thumbs to him. I don't know if he's going to be practicing the uh, right-click alternate fire of the glock, though. Don't think that's got much of a place in modern Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's know. a different story, isn't it? Look, I always still go to it out of habit. Yeah, it's, it's a bad fact. habit, but, but what, it's habit. What do you think is the possible justification for not having it be relevant? Like, what's the point in having the button to press? Well, I might, sound, have to I, do, I might have to do what Harry did and try using these things consistently. It took us like four years to use the org. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so maybe, just maybe, we're all wrong on this one and Volvo are right, but Pissed around to phase and a great way for them to kick off the campaign here. You heard the desk talking about the multitude of different outcomes here this evening. Well, we'll be keeping you up to date, trying to give you live updates. So apologies to those of you who wanted to watch all three games separately over the next three days of play. Uh, but we will be giving you little spoilers. It's pretty inconsiderate of yourself, isn't I'm it, really? I'm sorry. How dare you guys? Competitive integrity being upheld. Oh, it's a bit of a topic, isn't it? Integrity. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that kind of conversation. Chad, it's a bit late for that one. Oh, you I had spent a whole, the whole day, day about integrity. It was a bloody, it was a day. So, so sit down, relax, and just enjoy the shooty, shooty bang bang. Yeah, this is the stuff I know what I'm talking yeah, about. Forget about all of the extra integrity and like look like paper and ink and law. None of that. No, thank you. Well, it's a bit of a sticky situation for FaZe Clan here. There was four players top banana to deal with their early aggression, and that's sent them packing to go trifle with the mid play. Smoke will be fading shortly. In limbo, back and forth is bit. Simple has been able to find himself roost over towards the arch side. And to be fair, Simple had a bit of an off game on Inferno yesterday against EG. It is brave of them, don't you think? Like, straight up rematch on the map, you got banged out by Simple, 30 frags, 16 to seven. Just saying, okay, do it again. Just asking him, hey, Mr. Kostelia, have you got another one in you? Oh, nice pronunciation. Merci beaucoup. Flash Wars as Carrigan does take the space. 50 seconds here, really starting to clamp down on this A bomb site. Ooh la la. Okay, so there's a real pressure onto the time of this. Those smokes are going to start fading. They already have. Carrigan, you're going to need a second one. He refreshes the arch and they continue their walk. Navi are in the right place to receive this. There's still ways in which this can go wrong. All it takes is a well-timed push or a good spray out of the MP9. Electronics been kept very honest. It looks like FaZe have weathered the storm. Yeah, been able to hold that one at bay there. And you could just see the moments where it could go wrong, but taking their time phase, making sure to get down multiple walls of smokes, see if Navi wanted to test the water. It is, a, it is a balance, isn't it, in Counter-Strike, where, like, I think sometimes we see Carrigan do the other side of it, where you kind of overthink and overcook it. But, you know, the, the idea of just being blatant, like, at no point were FaZe secretive about their intentions there. And I, d I know sometimes, it, I know I find myself second-guessing it when it feels like it, I know the CTs have had time to be there, you know? Yeah, I, I think the thing is, in Counter-Strike, you can get caught in two minds. Like, out-positioning your opponent to make it as easy as possible uh, can sometimes force you into a scenario where, you know, you scamper, you try and run away, and instead that unravels the play. Whereas if you go, okay, well, we know there's two guys here, we know there's one guy here, how about we just focus in on that? Like, we know they could have pushed Banana, they could be flanking middle, they can already be in the smokes we've just thrown, but let's not get uncomfortable and let's continue. Yeah, just deal with the task ahead of you, right? right. They knew that they had the better weapons, they knew that Na'Vi were going to have to scramble to make those maneuvers, and they've been able to get the second round on the board. Now, actually, it's been strange. I've been seeing, and this is just the eye test, everybody, but some of these second second round saved forces, yes. right? So yeah. they haven't forced, they've saved some weapons into this. They can seem just as threatening, if not more. So regardless of the full investment, RV still a threat here. Great Ooh. defensive Molotov there. Yeah, I, I'm convinced a part of what you're talking about there is also because I think all it, all it takes is the absence of the Kevlar mm. to give players just that little extra motivation to go for an Aggie peak early. And more often than not, when you've got players as well-oiled as Na'Vi and FaZe, they get to, they profit from that opening gambit. It's weird that there's layers to that, right? Because we already say when you're on a lower buy with pistols, you're going to take risks. So what you're implying here is the fact that there's more risk taken when, you know, there's just not the head armor, right? Yeah. So I can see what you're talking about because the... the there you go. This is the first piece of that puzzle. Yeah, there's even a weapon that they have to contend oh, the with. Dick. Olof's feeling the heat. I will remind you in counter to the 16-7 bang out at IEM Cologne, Olof did have a very hot 
I can nearly said the word correctly. Very hot. Inferno. Just yesterday up against Big Clan, dropping a dirty 30 and pulling them across the line. Now, this is already getting sketchy, Chad. This they have is to spicy side. Now. But this is a 4-5 oh. man retake, and AK oh. has fallen into Simple's hands. And that was an important frag to find. How has Perfecto pulled that one off? Brokey should have had more there, and Carrigan's lost his life as well. This one's gone. He needs something special here. Twist just over the elevation from Simple. Doesn't have him in his field of view, and it's an easy collection. It's an easy four kills from Simple as well. The kind of second component of that conversion is that it's all Simple. Well, really, you think FaZe has done all the hard work in round number two, and here it is just that uh, naughty, naughty little 5-7 there in Boiler Room just causing so much strife. Diffuse will come in. Simple has 7.6 grand after that. Four kills, plus the Diffuse, plus they were already on a save. Does he keep the AK or does he go for the big slam dunk AWP? That's a great question. I think he can probably get away with this AK right now. You know, let everybody else invest as the AWPA. Maybe hold your schmeckles. Mm, in his uh, sack. Yes, indeed, <laughs> in his sack. But uh, FaZe with the plant, they can facilitate a buy. It's looking good on their side of things too. So regardless of that result there for Na'Vi, we will get a full gun round coming into round number four. And Banana we go. Boomich, he's in the most forward position here. Lobs out a molly. Carrigan will negate all that Ooh. with his smoke. And they've got top banana control quite swiftly here, yeah, FaZe. to see of the flash. And speaking of flash, you can see Carrigan wants to get the hell out of Dodge. Interesting that he's not interested in the maintaining control. You can see a reactive utility set from Na'Vi. A smoke on Boomich, a flash from Perfecto. Everyone playing it very safely and passively. Understandably so, I suppose, with the three-man stack on A. But they bowed out completely here. So I think the idea was they are expecting Na'Vi to go for something a little bit more aggressive. And now just as a crew, they're walking on up and they have everything they need to go straight for a B execute into the bomb site of Perfecto and Boomich. Yeah, they've got such clear intentions from the get-go, haven't they? Oh, this is all going to come down to timing for FaZe here. Brokey's setting something up. Perfecto getting boosted in the meantime. He'll be safe from the Molotovs there, presuming he doesn't break upon it. Oh, the timing's perfect as it fades. Reigns walk is completely neutralized. They're going to have to commit off this. And they are. Olof trying to be the pointy end, but Perfecto, another connection through the smoke and phase, limping with what little remains into this B bomb side. The rotate is in. Nades swallowed, Brokey's vision just restored, but Carrigan's got a wealth of space. My God, I just looked at the map. 9 HP, though. He's going to have to do something crazy here. Electronic and Simple are coming in. Ugh! Oh, he does. Prefire's lovely. Simple's his next challenge, and he's already managed to at least tuck in. They can plant here. He can get up Graveyard. I don't know how he's chosen to stick around so long. This is very brave from Carrigan. He's playing for the, the greater oh. good. Simple will catch the first. Brokey trying to slip away at 1v4. Can't even get much more. Simple will deal with him, and there you have it. Two impactful rounds out of that AK from Simple. FaZe managing to get something out of that. I mean, a recovered plant yeah. is, is, is significantly more than they were about to leave with prior to Carrigan's maneuver. Yeah, all things considered, that's great. But look at Na'Vi now. They have four AKs to their name going into the fifth round of play here. Now, I just want to talk through the details of this. You can see that Boomich expended all of his utility early, and Perfecto still had the bucket load left. So what happened was Boomich transitioned into the site, and Perfecto boosts him up into a position where he can just focus Focus on shooting, and right. then Perfecto with utility is playing from that CT role where he can be a little bit more flexible. And you can see just how his utility there was really able to aid them in defending that site. But FaZe, well, they've been pushed down to pistols here, and those pesky deagles need to see if they can find a few heads in RV. Just takes one, and the dominoes will start to fall. Forced out an early mid-smoke here, so that was above the 130 minute mark. Gonna force out more utility in Na'Vi. Boomich on the jump spot. Yeah, he's in that same mindset. Well aware of the buy and willing to take a chance on someone not hitting that. It's a shot that's hit. It's definitely, there's a precedent set that it can and will be punished if you continue to go for jump peaks on the half wall, but... Phase with nothing posted. Looks like Simple wants to clear out top mid with the support of Electronic. That's ah. easy as that. I think he remembers what was happening yesterday against Breeze. So, uh, Simple's laying some pain down range right now. Yeah, I mean, we got to see Simple's stubbornness for the apartments as well. It was interesting to see how much Breeze forced him to actually actively fight for that territory. 
Well, this is one of those rounds where I think Carrigan has just gone, hey, let's get some deagles and let's go and see what we can find. Everybody go fishing, go at your own leisure, go at your own pace. We'll at least rinse through some of this util, but uh, being rinsed right now, it's simple might have some more kills. And if you're phase clan, right? Like, I think everyone, when they know, like, they wake up in the morning and they know they're playing against simple in the, in, later in the day, part of you maybe even just for a second wonders, hey, you might have an off day. You know, oh, it, it would be cool if you had an off day. And then, you know, all it takes is five rounds of Counter-Strike and you realize, oh, he's... He's here, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's here in full capacity, isn't he? Oh. He had two 4K rounds already. In the context of those 4K rounds, well, that one that you just saw, that's more farming kills. But the first four that he had, uh, that was the ones that are whacking the eco loss on yeah, the that board was the, for Clan. That was the, so. the first round, in fact, <laughs> that has now been a reaction of three. So from 0-2, we find ourselves with Na'Vi taking the lead, heading into our next round of play, and the AWP now out for the aforementioned superstar. Crosshair placed and patrolling for any aggressive heads, and so they won't necessarily provide initially. Two up second mid safely. Garrigan floating around middle as well, should he desire. It's looking very A-heavy right now from face up. No, banana control, and that is huge from Rain. An opener in towards the apartments. Electronic is down, and now more pressure can be applied. Ooh, Carrigan's got something in store for us here. Whether there's a full commit, I, mean, I hear the apps pop, perhaps. Brokey, Carrigan all release their nades. Here we go. Let's see Navi's reaction. He's flashed off, but he still pulls the trigger onto a back turned rain. Info on fear. He's fully blind and executed. And now Simple can get overwhelmed here. He's done very well, trying to dig himself out of trouble through the flames they push and round converted phase have successfully taken the A site. Yeah, that was quite nice. Uh, I think that mid control, you see that molly right there out of Carrigan's hands lands under the porch. You can throw different variations, maybe intentionally or by accident. If you lob it a little bit too early, might land on the roof. You throw it a little bit late, might land a little bit deeper on porch, you know? So there's different variations that happen with that. But it looked like just a mid control and they were able to pounce out apartments, find that gap a bit. He did, had no idea what was going on. Simple tries to make the best of a bad situation. And FaZe, well, they're going to tie things up 3-3. So a highly contested game early here. And important for it to stay that way. We want to have a, a bit of a banger. This group has, has definitely delivered a different breed of Counter-Strike. It's been much closer. We're not going to get away with the 5 4 3 2 one, zero. No way. No way. But I also feel like that's because that's a product of the team's... Oh, that, well, that's a, a nothing statement, I realize. <laughs> that's, product, a, that's a product of the teams within it, chat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. But I had justifications behind that. Uh, just in terms of, like, I'm thinking about Big Clan. I'm thinking about sure. FaZe Clan. Like, these are teams that will... New Fnatic. But, well, they're just... Yeah, certainly. But those two in particular that I mentioned, I think, are more attributed to just the volatility of the opponent. Like, if they have a well-suited opponent, I think they fall into categories where they have teams they mesh against well mm. and teams they don't necessarily match against well. I think that does... That, I wouldn't put Na'Vi in that category, a very separate entity in that sense. But FaZe Clan, I feel like it's uh, opponent-driven at times. And Na'Vi, let's not forget, kept them very honest. 16 to 7, the previous head-to-head -head on this map, and FaZe have chosen to re-pick it. Let's see if they can justify it with a good T Hall. They even lost to EG on this map phase, I do believe. So odd, yeah, it, it did seem odd. Oh, and I can see Rain's crosshair is absolutely minuscule, by the way. That is ridiculous. And for an old man as well, with his eyes, he's got a tiny little green dot. Oh, they're really trying to exploit apartments. They are set up and ready to go towards A again. This is a rinse and repeat of the same strategy. It is. It looks identical, but I wonder if the result will match. This time, Electronic actively contests Twist's first look and Bit realizes upon the first frag of his teammate that there's pressure coming his way. I love that util set. Bit nerdy, but will slow them down. Reigns found a solution. Oh, has he though? He has to walk through. Gray screened an Electronic set up by the Bit util, and that will leave them wanting. I mean, they've got nothing left. Absolutely nothing to celebrate there from FaZe Clan and weapon upgrades galore for those A-tested DCTs. Immediately adjusted, right? That's great. In the last round, Rain was able to get that opening kill onto Electronic. This time, they play a little bit more passive. You're talking about that util. It's able to set them up. It slows FaZe down. And it keeps Na'Vi now one round ahead. So back into the doldrums of those upgraded pistols is FaZe. Last time, Brokey got two on the way out the door. Let's see if they're able to get anything else done here. Now remember, if you've just joined us, maybe you missed the death segment, maybe you haven't been on the social medias. Right now, the winner of this matchup will come first in Group C. They'll skip the round of 12, they'll go straight through to the quarterfinals. Navi are already qualified regardless of the outcome of this match, whereas FaZe, 
look, we won't get into the other bits and bobs. Dude, it's so brutal for FaZe. I mean, they've been handed what sounds like a really appealing control of their own destiny initially. You go, hey, FaZe, if you win your last game, you're, you're through to the playoffs first group, first in your group. And it sounds like, oh, well, we've had a great few days, haven't yeah. we? Until someone says, yeah, but if you lose, you might not even make it. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. <laughs> oh. It's good, though, that... Uh, Every, oh, who, every single game has something on the line tonight. That's one thing that I'm happy about, certainly. right? Certainly. But who's the team they have to beat, Chad? It's only Na'Vi, only the recent champions of our return to LAN. Indeed. They really want to exploit A, but I don't know what you're trying to exploit. You mean that simple bit in electronic crossfire? Yeah. Nah, I'm not so sold. If I, had to pick well. my if I had to pick my poison, Chad, I think Boomich and Perfecto sounds a little bit more It does, manageable. doesn't it? It really does. It, that's that's strange how deadly that A site setup is. Yeah, well, I was thinking that when I saw Bit in, in Pit, I was like, but that would mean electronic somewhere else. And then I realized that there's just this little beautiful equilibrium where they both just get to be annoying around the apps whenever yeah. they want. Uh, the, I, I, yeah, so the thing is, and you have Simple as, as the man who's going to be flexing Arch side, so you're hoping to take advantage of him in the rotations. So. Uh, that's something that I suppose you can exploit if Boomich and Perfect are not doing their job, because at that point, Simple will start leaning B a little bit more, right? But you need to crack that B bomb site first. Now, I think we'll see a different approach here from FaZe. This time, Aggressive. less of the A presence, and yeah, Simple wants something. He's looking real horny for a frag here towards Boiler. Good but util, sir. Yeah, good. Molly's going to hold them at bay, but it's an, it's an equal exchange right there, right? The CTs dump some Molly's, the T's do as well, and this is all just slowing down the pressure they can apply. Whenever you say equal exchange, I just immediately start thinking about alchemy. Ah, uh, yes. Full Metal Alchemist! I still didn't finish that. Really? No excuse? You have no excuse. That took me like an extra six months to it's finish that. It's a really short anime, no? Isn't it? Yeah. I think sure. I've marathoned it, and there is a start. B site, as we discussed, is exploited. Boom, it's down, and the rotation from Simple. Good smoke. The utility dump from Perfecto. Certainly, these are delayed. Boosting the AWP up, I'm not so sure. Yeah, that makes more sense. Kagan's going to creep through this here. Setting them up for success, and Perfecto just catches Carrigan straight through. I think the visibility kind of caught Carrigan there. Oh, well, that's the number advantage they've just given away, right? I think they were going to explode on towards B. So whatever was spotted by Perfecto is actually huge because it's allowed Simple to now establish himself here towards Coffins. Might be a change of tack with 30 seconds left. That's a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? You can see the, the, the discomfort in Rain's positioning. He's still flirting around with both options. I lost the only one with a smoke, Alex, and he's over Yikes. in second mid right now. He's so on his way. They only really have a flash to entry into this. Olof will get there. He can drop the smoke. It's actually baited Perfecto away. It simple, has. they're coming. Yeah, and simple. Oh! oh, he's actually been caught out. Whether by design or otherwise, they've been given a gift of an open B bomb site chat. I can't decide whether it's genius or just a straight coincidence. The delay of Olaf not having a smoke caught simple out. That is wild. Like, the round looked good for FaZe after the opener, then Carrigan dies, it looks really bad. And then Simple, for whatever reason, what pants is, in his pants. It's 10 seconds left. He sees Perfecto, like his muscle memory. He just starts, you know, kind of reacting on the rotor. He's, he's planning his route through Banana. Okay. Well, pants around his ankles, and that's Simple. Rare to see. Yeah, caught off. Caught off in a big way. So, FaZe, they keep this margin very close. This has just been a back-and-forth affair. Some close rounds. Decisions. Down to the finest of details here. Five to four. Feels like we're having a, a tennis match that's never going to end, right? It's like juice. I do love the juice Ad rules, though. Advantage Navi. I think that's how our own side should go. Oh! Yeah. I, did, I didn't want to say it. The occlusion of the smoke. Uh, well. Why does that still happen, man? I like it. Felt like he just got completely BS'd, and then you realised. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Well. You know, uh, not, not in, indefensible, I suppose. Well, I could try. You could, I, but I tried doing enough of that today. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do Honestly, any more the, of that. You can't play. You find, if you keep finding yourself playing devil's advocate, <laughs> there's, a, there's a second part to that saying I don't remember. Bit, bit of a wobbly one. Spray was just a narrow margin off, and it's enabled Twist to find his head. Tipple's just still picking here. They're really aggressive, Navi. Yeah, I think they just got really, really pissed when Big kept jumping out. They want to do it themselves. Oh, they might just run down this B bomb site here. Yeah, Perfecto's got a lot to do, and I love the reaction out of him. He's managed to make that relatively threatening. Drops the smoke in time. 
It's pulled Simple back over to the site. <laughs> but I think FaZe are playing a solid game here. Like, they can once again exploit this rotation. They've got Simple over to B. Olaf will go poking and prodding. It looks like the bomb is going to go back over to the right bomb site. Electronic is isolated here. Uh, this is twice they've been able to get Twist this aggressive on B right now. And they just get to play with this A bomb site. So, unless they face some resistance, which uh, Electronic pushing. That's resistance right there. Big frag. <gasps> Yeah, and already Perfecto's caught the B Lurk as well, so stars are starting to align for Na'Vi, but advantage phase in terms of ground. Bomb now planted, Kerrigan opts for the site. You can see they're discussing their crossfire. Now, Olof's actually been let off the leash. He's been sent to try and find the first prong of this. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy, booked with his back turned, crab walking around the apps, and Kerrigan stays a numb, but he's being flanked. And flashed, lovely conversion from Na'Vi, and they keep a cool head. Oof, that's huge from Electronic, right? That play is the only way they can get back into that round. If he pushes through that smoke and he dies, it's a save call. The fact that he goes through, gets a kill, he has to take the risky maneuver, right? That's so risky. He's not positioned over towards site. He's not positioned over he's towards pit. Off. He has to go for a gamble push, and it pays off. And not only that, he finds Olaf as well. So that is a genius maneuver from Electronic there. And this is it, right? He, he's just gone, uh, well, if we want to win the round, I, I have to do this, right? And in certain situations, that's all you can get and, away with. And I just realized as well, he was the one that you just said killed Olaf. He went back around yeah. all the way into that entrance of apps. Yeah, good maneuver there. And well, badass. Yeah, right now it's going to be a MAC-10 in the hands of Twist, but everybody else with the AK, so. Your highest fragger with the SMG. We'll see if they can justify it with a round win. I feel like if they get that banana control again, they may as well just execute into B, right? Because they, they, they are getting the space. If they're able to park twists up that aggressively, you can apply pressure towards this B bomb site, no dramas whatsoever. A safe car molly there. Hold any maneuvers at bay. Double nades for the AWP, Molly for the sandbags, all looking good, but the flash forward. Yeah, Boomich wants to look, and they're tucked in half, all safe and sound. Smoked off now, simple. We'll stick around, and they want to actually isolate onto A instead. It's the right call in terms of numbers. Well, they just called top banana clear again here. So, yeah, they, they will need to rotate away quickly because they found nothing on their info plays. FaZe could be coming any second now. Yeah, you can see they got the read. The rotations are on their way. Just sending Perfecto, the only man with a smoke, to go back to the... Harrigan's opened up proceedings onto the AWP, no less. Simple's gone, and Bit doesn't last long either. That crossfire's been broken phase into a pretty stacked damn site. And Carrigan hunts down Electronic as well. They knew he'd be lingering on the site. That's enough to force the save. FaZe closed the gap once again. Yeah, that was one of those situations where we're talking about keeping Simple busy. He was over towards that B bomb site for a very, very long time. I think they were thinking the impending B strike was in, just like I was saying, right? The fact that they've gotten that much space, it is a cause for concern for Na'Vi. And that is most likely what kept the third man lingering. And then from there, the timing, Simple gets there. He's in library, but Carrigan had already slipped the net. So some really good stuff from Carrigan so far, finding himself on eight kills, tied up with Twist at the top of the scoreboard for the phase camp. Two saved guns. Money is fine for another Na'Vi buy, but if it continues back and forth like this, you're going to be happy with the first half of your phase, right? You're going to walk away with, you know, six or seven rounds. So that's a pretty tidy first half. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, check-in with the Fnatic EG game for all of y'all. Fnatic, well, they need to win. Yes, uh, that, that. that's clear. That's quite clear. There is some results that do have to go their way. Now we'll wait till the first maps are done and then we'll start dialing in on all of that because the desk are going to cover it. There's no point us covering it after the first map. No, but to fill you in for the Fnatic one while it was on your screens, they actually need, and it's relevant to us, they have to hope that FaZe loses. So yeah. they're supporting Na'Vi today. Okay, so Fnatic fans. If you won the black and orange in your playoffs as a debut in their official capacity, it would be quite poetic, and so is that flashbang. Good God, Simple was blind for an eternity. And there's more to come. Electronic's gone too. Round Olaf done. has That's won it. the round with his AK-47 alone. The only way this falls apart for FaZe is if Na'Vi gamble stacks somewhere. Right right now, as Carrigan is the caller, you're just calling pause. Wait, let's see if there's an aggressive maneuver. If there's not, let's group up, let's execute with our superior utility, and let's just trade efficiently onto the bomb site. <laughs> Giving away a straight kill, not the way you want to be doing it. Position uh. noted now for Bit, so they still have a one-man advantage here, but that is going to be harder for FaZe to break. 
and it looks like they want to take some liberties here. Just dumping nades, walking casually, not clearing all the corners. They know Perfecto likely isolated, and he is just hanging out behind the pillar. Oh, no. Navia chipping away at them. Carrigan's gone down as well, and now with Twist alone on B, they're flirting with two bomb sites. Oh, this is on rain. How much space is he going to get before Bit Be is brave. able to establish the site? He's being brave. No contact, it's but it's off. It and he's been oh! an adjustment out of rain. And Bit, this time, handed the headshot as opposed to the other way around. That will be the round saved by FaZe. Most important kill of the round. I got flashbacks, Chad. You know when you were talking about, look, all we have to do now, we have an advantage. Is group <laughs> I got flashbacks to matchmaking with you. I, I became you in my solo queue matchmaking yeah. adventures. Yeah, I said exactly what you said. I was like talking them through it. I was like, boys, we just got two picks. I want you to stand still. We're going to group up, trade off of each other evenly. We'll execute into a site. It's safe. Yep. And you know what the first thing he says? He goes, Green, you a coach or something? <laughs> 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 Green, you coach teams, maybe. <laughs> you professional coach, man. Oh, dear. But yeah, it was uh, the Chad virtual strategy. It, it, works it works sometimes. It works. Yeah. It's flawless. It's almost like it's it's the fundamentals of Counter Strike. Well, it, what what happened right there was them taking it to a bit more of a. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, of a team who we could maybe use for that. I think like a heroic would be a good example, right? You send feelers out. Right, because you, you want to see what the resistance is like. Now, the biggest problem when you go for moves like that is if you just get multi-killed, you, you, you're wrecked. And if you just get multi-killed like this at the start of the round, you're also pretty wrecked. So yeah. Olaf, with two huge kills, but I'm liking the pace at which they're taking apartments now. I've seen Simple genuinely look like a human being this entire half. Like mm. Carrigan shooting him in the side of the head. He's rotating when he shouldn't. He's been exploited and outshot at times. That's FaZe Clan doing a whole lot of what they couldn't in their previous head-to-head. -head. And FaZe, oh, I've opened up again. Speaking of it, it's Brokey this time that puts his AWP in the feed. What a gift, right? Uh, Simple's about to go for a second mid-peak. He just takes his eyes away for a second. Brokey steps out dry. That's going to be adding some level of frustration now. And well, they can just set up and hit this A bomb site. You know, it's electronic a bit over here. It's likely the CT stay with a 2 2 defense. This is compulsory, man. I mean, I'll, I'll keep getting excited about it if it continues to be this close. But I definitely came in with an, uh, an air of doubt surrounding what phase we're going to be laying down today. Very happy to see we've got a competitive first half. And this is a. Na'Vi that are looking definitely a little flustered. I mean, look at this. Once again, a wide open site. How often have we been saying that? Oh, it, even with that kill, unless they get gifted another, I feel like it has to be the save. Yeah. The money's just not there for Na'Vi to risk this round. So they have been whistled down here, and this will be the third consecutive round for FaZe. Bit's still lingering around. He's like, Electronic, they, they said save. Why are you still in trash? But he understands that Electronic is the 2IC of this ship. Yeah. Second in command for anybody. Actually, when I think about it, maybe he's not the second in command. Who would you say is? I reckon Simple's the second in command. Boomich is the first in command. Okay. I but Boomich reports to Blade. Yeah, the hierarchy's probably a bit kooky over there. Yeah. As long as everybody wants to win, yeah. I think that's all Simple cares about. Yeah, Simple's also got like a jurisdiction on the catering. Like they have sure. to use his sushi company. Sure. Yeah, that's, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And they, they have to use Zeus's Pizza Company. Zeus's Pizza Company. Yeah. <laughs> they just they get a meal for every day of the week over there for now. Yeah, you could truly support each individual <laughs> member over the course of your takeaway. What's Senya running? He, is he cooking anything? He got anything on the go? Senya, yeah, I wonder what he's cooking up. Kind of a stir fry joint or something. Okay, Navi, you need something here. It's starting to get real awkward, and it could be another save if they just lose the sight. They need guns for the final round to play, and their loss bonus is only at 2,900 here. Owie, Huge names. Ouch. 150 damage, that's that's a very well spent 300 bucks. Can you do that like a dart announcer next time? 150! 57! Oh. Imagine if I could actually crunch the numbers that quickly there, give you specific readouts. Just computing live. Yeah. I mean, I am called machine. Unfortunately, I'm probably the least mechanical human being around. I've seen you with a wrench. That's true. <laughs> This right here, being stalled out with the low HP, it feels like FaZe might have to do something a bit more direct. So, waiting out more of the early U-turn. And I say early, we have a minute remaining on the clock here. All five members for both teams still stand. Yeah, and I mean, fair play to all of Meister and Rain. They've, uh, they've been taking apartments in slow motion. They have the patience. 
And now they're oh. going to be poking B. Now, oh. this is interesting. Let's see Na'Vi's reaction here. Carrigan's trying to be smart, but unfortunately, Rain's taking contact way too soon. They haven't shown the bomb, but they'll clear him. Oh, Carrigan. Carrigan. You are a loud boy as he stampedes through the apartments. Electronic about to Can't win the round. Yep. Yeah, hello. Is that the explosive device that you intended to plant? Oh, if Brokey can do some damage here, yeah, never mind. He goes down to pit. Then that would have been all right. But 7-7 seven, seven, tied back up. Let's see who takes the lead here in the final round of play. The fact that as soon as Carrigan is a, like, they're, they're calling that three holes pop off the B fake, as soon as Boomish gets the first kill from Graveyard, you know you've made the wrong call. Because <laughs> it's a, it's more of an A stack, right? They had four players over here. Electronic gets this one as Carrigan is trying to transit over towards what should have been the less defended bomb site. But still, this is a great T half from FaZe right now. They're going to be happy with this. Yeah, notice Na'Vi really haven't quite been won over by the uh, org conversation. Or maybe I should bite my tongue until we get to Nuke. But maybe we'll see a differentiate difference between the two. But yeah, they're not quite in the same boat as a lot of other teams in this group. Starting to show almost two orgs of full buy for some members. Really liking this apartments play, aren't they? They do, but I mean, it hasn't really been exploited in, in response from Na'Vi. The boost is going to really, really ruin Rain's day. I wonder where the line in the sand he's leader has drawn for him. It likely is about there. It seems to me that right now, with Kagan with this smoke play top banana, they're going to want to draw some movement on A and see if they can pounce. Rain and Olaf are dropping back now. Top banana control is confirmed. Yeah, well, that's some of the similar util they've done previously on the A commits. So that's going to only encourage Na'Vi to dig their heels in deeper. It really hinges on what Carrigan finds, but this is the pressure from mid. Go! He's flashed, but Bit saves the day. He finds both of them. And Perfecto, oh, he's babysat nicely. Boomish saves him, gets the info, knows they're committing. Spotted out Twists and Brokey. And the bomb on the backpack of Twists. They're in a lot of trouble. Last round, so full commit. Five versus two. Becomes a one versus five. And Brokey... Uh, yes, yes. Yep. You, you took some. That's, I just watched it. Yeah, well, to be fair, it's, a, it's up for debate. Your mum probably educated you uh, very well. Subconsciously. Uh, Perfecto hasn't bought anything. He oh, doesn't... Chad, don't you start your little theory crafting. Put it away. Okay. Come well... back to your little theory craft after we see how this one shapes I'm excited up. by this. It's, you think Simple's getting an AK and all the trimmings? Or? As long as they plant, look how much money Perfecto will have next round if Na'Vi plant and lose this round, okay? Just, uh -huh. just bear with me. All right, he set the seed, he's planted it. I'll let you guys choose whether or not you want to water it. Simple has the dream again here. So the P250, the two smokes set up right now and the collision caution to rain. Owie, ouch. Just he's blocks dead. to the dome. And now, well, panic stations for Brokey and Carrigan. They've got five blocks. Who want their name and number bit? Yikes. Ah, the first bullet on the adjustment straight to the dome of Carrigan does conclude the round, and now it could be Dream World for Na'Vi, not only winning the round, getting the bomb down, saving some extra cash on Perfecto, and their contingency plan may not need to be activated. Now, I hate that this is the meta right here, and... Oh, 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 okay. I, I was going to say, I hate that this is the meta right now where the CTs are better off just saving their armor so they can get the cheap upgrade into uh, head armor in the next round. Olaf didn't want to do that, and that's fair enough. Olaf's an old school guy. Back in his day. Yeah, back in his day, he would have gone for that. He probably would have won it too, but Twist here, he's going to go for the cheap Kevlar upgrade. Now, they are going to win the round, so the ramifications of Perfecto not buying anything on Pistol is not going to be as juicy. But... Uh, We'll save it. We'll save it. If there is a team out there in professional Counter-Strike that on the T side of a map would like to full eco, get into an area or bomb site of the map, plant... What's the best map for this strategy to actually actively... I, I'm calling Mirage. I'm calling Mirage. Maybe, yeah, you could do like a B little site Mirage, B like Waterfall with a little and just bomb. plant. Maybe yeah. you could go for something on like Ancient with just like a straight up like B ramp. Wait, are you Mirage telling me you Ancient? don't need to win the round? No, oh, you don't need to win the oh, round. Oh, we'll just do the Machini TV Mirage strap. Four of you go B with Util. And the other guy plant. Oh, no, we can't have Util, we all need to be Eco. Oh, you're right. Everyone has to be Eco. Not even a decoy. No, so like on train, like inner bomb site would have been a good use of it. Ooh, um, yes, it would. Right, like uh, Nuke, if you could just do a ramp rush and go straight lower. Yeah. Right, so there's a couple. But if you go, if you do that, see how much money you have in the second round. You'll have Galil's and Util. Give it a, give it a crack. 
We'll do a little MM experiment tonight if you want. Oh, bloody hell, mate. It's going to be late. It's already past my bedtime. Boom, it sorted the problem out as Rain wanted info. Instead, he finds an SMG to the face. Poor old Carrigan. Flash for info. No one's blind, and Boomage is going to catch a scalp on it. Lucky there, didn't he? Lovely follow up from Brogy. Converts the no scope. I'm afraid that might be all to celebrate for FaZe in this one. Yeah, so this is going to be Navi now extending their lead. Ten rounds for them to the good. That's a three round differential to FaZe is seven. I'm going to have a second crack here. Now, if FaZe can pull off what Navi did in that first half, which was lose the force by but win the follow up with the saved weaponry, then I'll be very impressed. There's no reason they can't, especially with Twisty Boy. Hmm. Olaf and Brokey holding on to their goodies. I will say, I think FaZe's CT sides have been uh, where they've accrued more of their stable rounds in this group. Taking a look at their T sides, they've had some woeful T round, T halves. Don't, don't remember the, uh, I mean, well, don't forget, but also try not to remember the overpass, overpass. game against Fnatic, right? We'll yeah. forget about that one. Okay, that's into my mind for sure, as was the Mirage. I mean, don't forget that that was uh, a quick one as well. Yeah, no wind beneath their wings in that one, I think. Hey, they weren't believers in that game. All right, well, let's see. How can Brokey... Brokey, for me, is probably the catalyst of this round for FaZe to win, right? Because if he could do something a little bit funky, if he can uh, get that scout working and get a tag or two, yeah. then uh, I think we're off to a good start for these pistols to be able to chip away. Two USPs, one for Carrigan, one... Oh, Rain's upgraded into a P250. What a special treat. Yeah, so this one could get spicy, but like I said, it's up to Brokey. He's about to get run boosted. Special delivery. Oh. Ah. Oh. Simple accepts that package. Yeah, that's a dream. That is exactly what you were prophesizing. Chad, he took two chunks out of Boomage. He's been hard done by there. Olaf, so much damage. Just shy of finishing the job. Bit will swallow the nade thrown by now the cold dead hands of Twists. I'm afraid Faith kind of relying on Carrigan staying alive. Now they'll just take some space on uh, A and... Uh. Uh, uh, stay alive, alive, stay alive. alive. Is it the BJs? I don't know. Oh, so anyone that's slightly older than me is going to hate me for even asking that question. Staying we alive. Need, we need OJ on like speed dial. I had, I had OJ in my mind. His radio job. It's the BGs. Well done, Alex. Oh, we got we got confirmation. Yep. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Okay. Music loud and women warm. I've been kicked around since I was born. All right. Thank you very much. That's the BGs. In spoken word. In spoken word. Okay. Interpretive poem by Machine TV. Well, uh, you didn't uh... rhyme. No. You don't need to in slam poetry. You don't. Nah. What about a? Uh, what is it a? Uh... Haiku? Haiku, that's the one that follows a very specific formula. It's like blah, 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 you know? Certain amount of lines, I think, in a haiku. Or is it a word? It's, it's to do with the amount of syllables, I thought. The syllables, okay. That does sound believable. Haiku, oh, I just typed in haiku like the volleyball. Did you watch any of that? No, I haven't yet, Chad, oh but are you, God, it's still it's a hard hype. recommend from you. I haven't, I haven't kept up to date, but it's pretty hype. Cool. Also, I want to let everybody at home know I've put an anime profile picture on my Steam profile and I've won two out of three games I've played with it. So, good odds. <sighs> yeah. Good well, odds. I didn't realize that, you know, previously anime profile pictures were just the dodgy kids in matchmaking. Now everyone, the, the higher echelons of FBL is a, a weeb too. You got to do it. Well, Simple's got an anime profile Has picture. He? Yeah. Oh, well, that explains it. Yeah, I can oh. show you if you want. Hold up. Who's he Wait, got? Where in the, well... You must know him. I think it's... Is it the Green I'll Goblin? Not the Green Goblin. Spider-Man oh. in the building. All right. This is an important round here, ladies and gentlemen. No more silly business. As it seems a bit silly. Rain has a Mac 10 but he's all the way down Banana, so lethal range for him. Brokey's kept that scout, so it's weird that this is a bonus round for the CTs, uh, but it is a little bit for Brokey and Rain. So Certainly. This one's... Them trying to get the most out of their little investment. Yeah, with an eight, seven, half phase, they've, they've swallowed the pride of conceding the pistol. This is where you get to voice your concern the first time. Unfortunately, though, if you are phased, your opportunities will be numbered with Narfi already posting 11. This is a big one, as Chad has already outlined. It seems like Narvi are not really desperate to commit to anything. They've still got a full 60 seconds. We know, uh, certainly historically, Narvi not afraid to run down that clock. Ooh. Does Electronic wait this out? He does. Looks like he smells something's up here. 
Oh, he's just got a perfect crosshair placement regardless. Flashing him off. Range's got him here. Should be and does deliver. Oh, and he tagged another. Sets up Brokey for the conversion. Na'Vi are going to be propelled into Carrigan's solo behold. Well, if they're quick, it's just him. Yeah, and he's quick. got no util at all, bro. Brokey would have to do some magical stuff with a single flashbang. Carrigan maybe have it above his head. There it is. And no one flashed. Maybe slows them down. 20 seconds. Brokey's in position now. The boomage clear. He's looking the wrong way. Carrigan sprayed the wrong way. Ah! Oh. He's been run down, and Na'Vi have the sight. Twist trying his luck through the smoke as it fades. Boomich tucked in on the new box. A flash from Olof should set them up for the walk. Perfecto does lose vision temporarily, but it's not cost him anything. Oh, he's made noise. Oh, how have oh. they gotten away with that? Absolute Perfect. murder. Yeah, I mean, Perfecto taking the contact, but Boomich swinging out at the same time. Part of me loves the visualization of them just counting it down, you know, saying three, two, one. And That's huge. Hit your keyboard. That should break FaZe Clan once again. They'll come in for the full bonus buy. Yeah. And we'll oh. see them with zero dollars left in the bank account for the majority. To be fair, right, out of the MAC-10 carried through and the scout on Brokey, they actually got a lot from it, yeah. right? But uh, look, it does set them up with another potent buy right now. So you can't really critique, was it the right idea keeping those weapons in play? They got a lot done with them. It's just... Everybody else really letting that one slip. Uh, that retake situation just there, really, really messy. Like, it felt like they maybe had a bit more time. They could have tried to isolate some fights. Boomich stepping up in a huge way there. I can't believe he was able to stay alive and take Carrigan out of that round. Well, this is it. If Navi are able to just force through phase on this one, take away as many rifles as humanly possible, we've got Max Lost Bonus in play, but... B stream update, Mouse Sports. If they win, they're in. And they are up. Three round advantage up against Big Clan in that first map. That's happening on the B stream. Just CSGO underscore B. And B might be the letter that's appropriate for Na'Vi's T side as well. Smoked off for now. They go knocking. Rain smokes them off and will re propel or repel them. Whether or not they'll head into the A side remains to be seen. It looks like, if anything, they're actually gathering to go as it fades. Bits the last part of the puzzle, and he's on his way as well. Rain does have a smoke here. Is he going to go for something back of the site? Is he going to go for something deeper here? I, I think he's going to save it. That smoke from Bit there just hopefully going to keep Brokey and Twist planted. We're clearing top mid. It's about to get real juicy. Here they come. Carrigan, Rain, good flash, but that's all they've got. That divider smoke will be thrown out. Rain needs a multi-kill here. It's compulsory. There's so many people looking for him. Trying to play around the smoke. He's tagged up a few. Safe. And that's enough for the face clan boys. They'd rather have another go in round 21. If you're Navi now, and you've heard me get on this a couple of times here, they should start having a little bit of a chase, whether it be with one or two members. Just start having a look to see if you can deny something here from FaZe. Maybe a round too early, you know, but at some point, you can start letting the boys off the leash. Let them have a look. Let them start sniffing out these opponents. Next round, the max loss bonus, you can get Olaf and Twists who can drop guns or uh, Brokey can drop as well. Everybody will get that 3,400 uh, into the back pocket here. It just means someone is going to be light on utility. Commanding, though, from Na'Vi now. This is five on the trot on this T-half. They had a back and forth affair there. It's seven in a row from the tail end of the first half. So really... Picking up some momentum and some steam here and moving into the next map. As if you missed the veto, you can see it in the top right. It is Nuke coming up next. And, well, FaZe removed Mirage, which oh. I think was a cause for concern for some. I mean, if it, if it continues in this trend, if we don't see FaZe voice something in this round here, they could have finished 8-7 and end up with the bloody same scoreline. I thought yeah. we, were, we were set for, a you know, double digits, bare minimum to push the Na'Vi boys. But yeah, a couple of lost gun rounds, the pistol and its conversions. It's left, left phase with a couple of options. Carrigan, what? Throws caution to the wind. Straight down, Banana. It's Rain's multi-kill that could be the difference. Has a good tag. Simple, somehow tracks him as the Norwegian does tuck in. A risky big push. Miss. A big miss from Brokey and Na'Vi still relevant. All on Olaf now. The only man here over towards A and he's pushing through apartments. Gonna take a more aggressive stance as well, the three Na'Vi members will wrap around the site. They're going to get a free avenue. Oh, Olaf's completely given them the site as well, yeah. And they called it clear. Simple reacts with the plant, safe in the site. <laughs> Look where Bit and Electronic are. 
<laughs> Tell oh, me they God. don't get enough practice to play in these positions. Yep, they know their angles and their crossfire as well. Here we go. This is going to be such a tough nut to crack. I don't envy them. All off with only the fam. I'm sure he's got some util. He'd love to get that well placed out of the apps, uh, apartment position. Oh, timing. Yeah, he knows they're in there and softens them up. Twist just Molotov down in response. The time, there's nothing left. Olaf would have to pull out some crazy oh, shots. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> he gave him a quick reminder of who he was. Doesn't quite find the final headshot of the three, but he keeps him honest. And that puts Na'Vi on 14. FaZe Clan looking to respond. They have picked the very same map. They were beaten up by Na'Vi on at Cologne. Ooh, 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 okay. Imagine if you had an M4 instead of the bloody I know. Let's see. We'll see Jesus. now the nasty miss from Brokey did spiral. Bit living on, never mind continuing into the site. Olaf, let's see that. So a good spray. Ah, like trying okay. to commit yeah. it to his, okay. <laughs> you can see him aggressively wiggling his mouse after. Is this thing broken? Yeah. You know, where was the kill? All right, well, back up against the wall, against the ropes, whatever cliche you want to go with right now. FaZe Clan are under the pump. Brokey's been able to get the big green back out. Thanks to Wolof. I mean, I think after those kills, it's enabled him to get drop an orb and to get a FAMAS in his hands. Solid haul. Now, they are just oh. walking straight in uncontested right now. Alex, nobody on FaZe has double-digit kills right now. Yeah, that is odd. And Boomich is so good at being ahead of the pack. Never mind finding impact from it. He's so far ahead I'll of the boys. Later. Close it's, it down. It's over. Look, it's simple. He's pushed up the tree already. They're just bloodlusting for these frags. And if they find them... It's not going to be pretty. Max lost, sure, but... Brokey was going to want to hold on to his AWP, I suspect. You can't just feel... I mean, up against a full Na'Vi squad still, the bomb ticking. Yeah, and they're pushing as well here. Pepping their steps, Simple trying to clear out his corners. The AWP oversight has looked away. Twist is on an island. He gets destroyed. Brokey's been spotted. Electronic is on the chase. Oh, leave me alone, bro. <laughs> oh, come on now. Electronic is going to get... Oh, I thought he was going to get Olaf there, but he just walked past in time. Boomage, unless you turn towards Boiler. How good are the comms? Not good enough, apparently. Oh, they look for Pip. He might try and get an AK. Oh, Olaf. Oh, Olaf. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> They're all there. They're all there. Just keep what you got. You need something. Okay. All right. Uh, well, oh. it was a competitive first half. We're oh. sorry if you only tuned in for the second half. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of changed the dialogue of this game completely, but what a heroic effort here from Boomich. He trusted so heavily in his teammates' utility to set him up there. He's running in, looking at the ground, into the B-bomb site. And like, I smiles, yeah, why the hell not? I've been watching this just yesterday when we were casting Na'Vi as well. Like, you see how far ahead of the entire execute he plays. And I don't know if it's, sac it's a, from a sacrificial point, but he does get so much good work done. If I knew that every in-game leader was just going to become an entry fragger, maybe I would have kept playing. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just mental. Like these are the, the this is in-game leaders for the longest time, or in di different formulations of teams, were like the guy who had to stay alive in the mid round. Yeah. Right. You were setting other people up. These guys are getting set up. Oh, boomish flash through. The Carrigan's done very well there. Gets the first, somehow gets away. Good luck, have fun recovering that AK. He has. Warning shots on the way out the door as well. Very close to low HP. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that Rain now is going to be an established turret on Banana. If they want to get take back that B site, you've got a very angry Norwegian ready and waiting for you. He wants a round, just one CT round. Let's just do better than last time for at the bare minimum. You picked this for a reason. Would feel hard done by to have it end exactly the same way. Two 16-7 losses in their series in Cologne. And after an 8-7 half, it looks so promising. Down goes Rain. That was supposed to be their ray of hope. Now oh, he's... Twist has an MP9. But now it's just a desperate prayer. They'll have to use their fortitude. Oh, okay, I'll stop with the priest references. It's 3-3. Three to three. Bomb going down. An odd little plan corner for simple, but it does mean he'll be safe from the spray. Brokey, perhaps, can find. Oh, no. He can't finish off bit. 4 HP. Bit of a heartbreaker. And poor old Olaf's got no hope, really. Carrigan's the one with the kit. He's low HP, now loose on the side. Narvi condemned.